Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to solve some problems based on reducible pair of linear equations. So basically on this topic we get speed and speed related questions. So we generally get speed related questions in this concept. So let's begin. So see example 4. A boat covers 32 km upstream and 36 km downstream in 7 hours. Also it covers 40 km upstream and 48 km downstream in 9 hours. Find the speed of the boat in still water and that of the stream. Okay. So in this concept you'll generally get these type of questions like upstream and downstream. So let's figure out what are they. Okay, let's assume that speed of the boat equals x kilometer per hour. Okay? The speed of the boat, speed of the stream, sorry, I mean, equals y kilometer per hour. Okay? Now, suppose, let's say that this is the stream, okay? I mean, this is the stream direction. So we know the stream flows with some speed, right? So let the stream flow here with y kilometer per hour. Now if suppose I have a boat going in this direction, okay? Opposite to that of stream. X kilometer per hour. Let my speed be. So my boat is going in the opposite direction of this stream's direction so this this is known as upstream whenever my boat whenever the boat is going against the stream direction we say it does upstream so generally in upstream if we have to go against the stream flow generally the speed of the boat should be higher than the stream then only it will go upstream right so when the boat is going upstream the speed should be subtracted because the speed of the boat will be more than that the speed of the stream okay now let's see what is downstream Suppose, let's assume this as the stream is flowing of y kilometer per hour speed. And my boat is also now flowing in the direction of the stream. So, when my boat is flowing in the direction of the stream, it will go faster because it is taking the support of the stream speed also means now when the when my boat is flowing in the direction of the stream it will move faster why because both the stream and the boat will are going in the same direction therefore the stream speed will be added to my boat's boat's speed so in the downstream, we add the speeds. Okay. This is the concept of upstream and downstream. Now, what did they give in the question? They had given in the question that a boat covers 32 km upstream and 36 km downstream in 7 hours. So, let's see. 32 km upstream 
thirty six kilometer downstream. Time seven hours. Similarly, in another case too, forty kilometer upstream. Forty-eight kilometer downstream. What is the time? Nine hours. So how are we gonna solve this type of questions? So upstream here meant x minus y. Downstream here meant x plus y. So here also x minus y. Upstream downstream is x plus y. So now, for solving this, let's use the basic formula. This here, time is equal to distance by speed. Okay. So now, in first case, what is what is a thirty-two kilometer upstream? This means thirty-two is the total distance by as it going upstream. X minus y total speed will be x minus y as it is going upstream. And another thing they gave is the boat can go thirty six kilometer downstream. Thirty six by x plus y where x plus y is the downstream speed is equal to seven hours. Why did they get seven hours? Because Yes, seven hours is the time. Thirty-two by x minus y is the time, and here also thirty-six by x plus y is the time taken to, for the boat to go downstream. And thirty-two by x minus y is the time taken for us for the boat to go upstream. So, as per the question, when we add both the time, we get seven hours. Similar case with another. Forty by x minus y plus forty-eight by x plus y equals nine hours. Similar case. Now we are gonna reduce these equations. Reduce this pair of linear equations. So let's say one by x minus y equals u. One by x plus y equals v. So as thirty two, thirty two by x minus y is none other than thirty two into one by x minus y. So what is one by x minus y? We are assuming it as u. So thirty two u. Similarly, thirty six by x plus y will be thirty six v. So when we reduce This equation and this equation to their respective. Ah, uh, you reduce them into normal values of u and v. We get thirty two u plus thirty six v equals seven. And in another case, forty u plus forty eight v equals nine. Right. So now we'll we'll use any of the technique like elimination. Here I'm multiplying this this by four. I'm multi multiplying this equation by three. So what happens here? We get here one twenty eight u plus one forty four v equals seven. Here we get one twenty u. Plus one forty four v equals twenty seven. Sorry, here we have to get twenty eight because we are multiplying the whole equation by four. So when we subtract, this will be cancelled, and if we solve this, we get eight u equals twenty eight minus twenty seven is one, or we say u equals one by eight. As we got u equals one by eight, we have to still get v is equal to how much? 
let's substitute u value in one of this equation I'm taking this equation so 32 into 1 by 8 plus 36 v equals 7 4 36 v equals 7 minus 4 36 v equals 3 v is equal to 3 by 36 is equal to 1 by 12 right now we didn't still get the values of x and y so what is the relation we thought 1 by x minus y equals u and 1 by x plus y equals v so we know u and v values substitute in these equations so as 1 by x minus y equals u this means 1 by x minus y equals 1 by 8 right and if we cross multiply we get another equation x minus y equals 8 let this be equation 5 similarly when we do 1 by x plus y equals v we get 1 by x plus y equals 1 by 12 or we say x plus y equals 12 let this, let this be our equation number 6 on further solving these two I'm subtracting these two will get cancelled this we get minus 2y equals minus 4 or y equals 2 km per hour. Then x will be respectively 10 km per hour if we substitute in one of these equations. Therefore, from the conclusion, we can say that speed of the boat is 10 km per hour speed of stream is 2 km per hour that is all about upstream and downstream questions thank you please subscribe for more